Now let's get on with the rest of the show. In an announcement made a few days ago, Denso Aegis Network redesignated Agnello Dias as the creative chairman. This is in addition to his role as co-founder CCO Taproot Denso. In fact, Dias along with Taproot co-founder and CCO Santosh Padhi had sold the agency to the Japanese network in August 2012. And on the other hand, the network is further beefing up its creative team with the induction of X Grey. National Creative Director Malvika Mehra as CCO of Denso India, the group's flagship ad agency. Mehra was the founder and creative director of Tomorrow Creative Lab, which was her own venture. Apart from being responsible for Denso India's creative duties across offices, Mehra will also launch Denso India Tomorrow Lab, a design and innovation unit at the agency. We caught up with these two creative powerhouses along with Ashish Bhaseen, CEO Greater South Denso Aegis Network and Chairman and CEO India at Denso's Mumbai office and spoke to them about the big plans for this network. We are at the Denso Aegis Network with Ashish Bhaseen, Agnello Dias and Malvika Mehra. All of you, welcome to Storyboard. Thank you. Um, <laughs> You're sitting with two creatives, as I pointed out. You're wearing a suit, uh, very symbolic indeed, Ashish. Uh, tell us about the two, two new announcements made last week itself. Uh, one is the elevation of Ignello Dias to become the creative chairman and one is the appointment of Malvika Mehra to become the CCO of Denso India. Uh, so are you really uh, boosting your creative uh, prowess? Definitely. Uh, one thing that we believe in in Denso Aegis Network is it doesn't matter whether the world is going digital, analog, technology, data, or whatever, the one thing that will never change in advertising is the importance of the big idea and therefore the importance of creativity. We are blessed to have some of the best creative leaders uh, in the country, particularly uh, Aggie, who's now taken on this enhanced role in addition to his uh, current role in uh, Taproot, where he's going to mentor the uh, you know, the new breed of creatives <coughs> across the Denso Aegis network agencies because I do believe that creativity is not the purview just of traditional creative agencies, whether you're a digital agency or an out-of-home agency or any part of the business, uh, everybody there is creative and I think uh, Aggie's role as a creative chairman is going to be to uh, grow that talent and to support that bit. Malvika's uh, appointment recently as the CCO of uh, Denso India is uh, a big step forward for that agency because um, uh, while Simi has been running a very successful business, I think bringing in Malvika now to partner her and both of them have worked well mm -hmm. together before uh, is going to take that creative product to a different uh, league. So we are very pleased with both of these and I think it's the right direction for the agency. Both of, both of these guys are really very decorated creative people in this industry. Uh, That's why I had to wear the suit. <laughs> <laughs> I am not decorated so I have to decorate it. <laughs> so uh, tell us what was the need of the R? What was the client requirement was uh, you know in marketing terms what was the marketing problem? It wasn't a marketing problem. For us, it's a marketing opportunity, right? Uh, we've been the fastest growing group for the last four or five years. We're the most comprehensive group in terms of uh, the offering of services. We're way ahead in digital uh, in, in many ways. Uh, we've been leading edge in creative with Taproot and Denso Web Chutney and several of our other agencies. If we can, ca our competitors are running helter skelter. Their businesses are in disarray. If we can get this together, uh, and bring that boost to rest of our business, it gives us a huge edge over anybody else. So mm -hmm. for us, it's a great opportunity. We are lucky to have great leaders. And therefore, we're making uh, full use of it. Uh, Aggie, will you tell us about your new added responsibility? Well, I guess in most of our setups, there are two parts. One is the resource, which is creative, and the other is the resource managers, which is the people who run creative. And then there are the resource buyers with the client. But my interaction largely will be with the resource, will be with the creative people uh, because uh, I think if you can, if one can affect or influence that then it cascades down the chain and benefits everybody rather than you know jump the step and influence other parts of the system. So it's largely with the creative people across different formats now who to see whether there is any cross pollination possible where certain values of traditional creative mediums can be taken across without having to discard the baby with the bathwater so to say so it's largely working with creative people 
on very uh, important uh, creative pollination uh, methods that can be agnostic to the medium through which they are put out. Okay, uh, Malvika, uh, you know, as I said, welcome back. Uh, Why our... welcome back? I never <laughs> left. <laughs> Just a bigger canvas. <laughs> uh, but uh, tell us about, you know, what is going to be your immediate uh, mandate after joining? Okay, so I think that's pretty, uh, I mean, uh, it's a rhetoric question in a way because most chief creative officers would join to firstly up the creative standards. But having said that, I think like Ashish pointed out, uh, Densu India already is doing pretty well in terms of business. We've just picked up some 10 businesses in the last three months, I think. And I think this is really the time to kind of really open up the playground and have some fun and do some really good uh, work. We've got stuff across auto, fashion, health, education, foods and the works. and. The canvas, I said, is larger. It's, I mean, it's of course Bangalore, which is I think what uh, Densu India typically is known as. But obviously, it's also uh, Chennai and uh, our Cochin offices as well as our Bombay offices. Uh, we're also going to be running Tomorrow Lab out of uh, Densu India Tomorrow Lab out of the Bombay office, and there are plans for even Delhi. So it's a national kind of canvas. I think I'm looking forward to kind of. Can you tell us more about the Densu India Tomorrow Lab? So I think the good thing is, uh, I mean, when Simi did call up and I was like, uh, okay, so, you know, headed back into a network, yeah, to, to that extent, your answer is uh, pretty correct. Uh, the idea was really to kind of come with my, uh, you know, with my baby and also the fact that uh, there's a certain entrepreneur uh, kind of spirit I kind of did hone over the last two and a half years. And I think that's what I think probably Ashish and Simi probably recognized and kind of felt that there's a good opportunity for me to kind of really explore a bigger canvas. So I think the thing with tomorrow really is, like I said, it's not like it's a design or innovation unit and it's going to uh, work in isolation. I think it's just an augmentation to what brand uh, Denso India can be. And uh, when I started that, it was essentially uh, trying to kind of expand the canvas from conventional advertising thinking, which we've been doing forever. I mean, we've done that for 22 years. Uh, but given a certain, you know, aesthetic or art background, I think I also felt there was a big input on design and design thinking. Mm -hmm. And the fact that one can play a role as a brand, Sutradhar of sorts, right from conception of the brand. So whether it's a startup, whether it's a multi nat whether it's, you know, a Lala sitting in a gala, which I met the entire <laughs> brand actually, uh, right from there. And what you can really input from, you know, naming, strategy, uh, retail, right up to digital and then obviously communication. So I think we were really operating, at least I feel like I was operating in this part of the spectrum for about 22 years. And I really felt there was an opportunity to kind of really go back and kind of, you know, get touch points moving across uh, the life cycle of the brand. I think that's really the agenda and the plan and I'm glad to have come with tomorrow. Okay, Ashish, <laughs> my next question is to you. Uh, you know, both these announcements uh, were a day after the other. Was it done on purpose or am I reading too much into it? And the second question is, probably one year down the line, where do you see uh, Jensu, especially in India, with these two creative powerhouses? So, uh, was it done deliberately? Of course it was. We've got an announcement to make every day. So, uh, it just happened that these two uh, came on that. You know, when you're with 23 agencies, we're the fastest growing group, you win businesses, people join. So, the, the frequency of announcements, of course, is, is pretty large, but it just coincidentally happened that these came in together. Actually, not only these two, even Magari Bhavan, we've, uh, Happy Magari Bhavan, we've changed the, uh, we've installed new leadership and there's a senior creative person who's uh, Somitro has been given additional charge so we have been looking at our creative product very seriously Aggie and the creative council have been guiding that and uh, so it's it, I would think it's a culmination of uh, of maybe a year or two of thinking but it just so happened that these these came in together okay uh, Aggie my question is to you uh, you know uh, what has been like the biggest uh, creative change that you've seen in the past probably five or six years and you know how would you build a case for a creative agency in today's setup where marketers are thinking twice the biggest creative change I've seen is that we have gradually moving still it's not still happened but we're gradually moving to a craft agnostic uh, uh, way of thinking which is in the earlier generation when we started, uh, it was necessary to have a craft in addition to art or thinking which means can you write, can you draw because even if you don't have an idea you can write something or you can draw something because it's a backup plan for say a day when you may not uh, you know, have a good day in the office. But now because craft is so widespread and over the years it had become either a drawing because it's either newspaper or outdoor and then eventually TV. It's become so widespread that it's not no longer a viable business model to 
have people in creative working only on the basis of craft because that can be sourced whenever it's needed and therefore the need and therefore the move towards a place where it is thinking that is paid for appreciated and uh, valued and its execution in whatever form of craft can then be brought in and out of an agency as and when required rather than having that uh, layer on board because there's only two ways of expressing your okay. idea so uh, malvika you, you have had your own setup uh, you know after you left gray and then now you are coming back to a big agency network has it really changed your perspective on uh, you know day to day happening happenings in like a big uh, agency majorly, setup majorly and i think one is that there's extreme gratitude when you kind of uh, come back into a system and you realize uh, what are the uh, i mean there's a lot of good things going in a system uh, in terms of when you when you leaving i think the probably reasons for leaving at that point uh, and i think the reasons for me leaving at that point our system was essentially because i wanted to explore stuff like i said beyond just hardcore advertising in the way we know it and uh, i'm glad i did that because there's a big exploration into design and a uh, little bit of study and also a lot of experience with clients and entrepreneurship uh, i think what's really i'm coming back with is um, a lot of knowledge uh, wisdom and a lot of gratitude because there is uh, while entrepreneurship is great is also i think to a point glamorized to an extent where it's supposed to be uh, it's great to have done it but it's it's not an easy one to pull off uh, if you're definitely a lot more creatively inclined than supremely business uh, inclined i mean i think that's a, that nobody will probably say that aloud but uh, each of us know our capabilities i think i'm a better creative director than maybe a business woman in that sense and but the good thing is i've come back with a lot of uh, that knowledge and i think uh, you come back with a lot more sharper sense of where is the business headed and what's really needs to be done and it's not so in silo I actually recommended to every chief creative officer like step out of the system get a feel like jump into the deep end of the pool and then maybe come back if you really need to my my reason for really coming back was essentially like i said i got a great platform with uh, ashish and simi offering me this and i got to carry my brand with me so i couldn't have had a better situation okay ashish so finally spill some beans on uh, the big ambitious plans for the densu agencies in the coming days well we've got to be the best at whatever we do uh, you know we were late entrants in this market we were 80 90 years later than our competitors like wpp ipg and for a long long time more something like 80 or 90 years the number 1 and 2 in india had not changed it had been wpp which had entered with hindustan thompson and then ipg which had entered with lintas then and the 3 4 5 changed but 1 and 2 didn't change until 2017 when we came in and we became the number 2 player so for us entering the market 80 90 years late and then rapidly rising to become the number 2 uh, player was was a big step but then now having got there you got to consolidate it we now 3700 people 24 businesses right how do so how do you consolidate this and how do you keep yourself relevant so that your pace of growth doesn't change i am clearly in this business for business i want to make money so that i can grow the business and give the best to my clients and for that growth is very very important so the next few years the big challenge is going to be that how does every part of our business continue to grow at that rapid pace that we have set up and i think we're well poised to do it particularly with our investments in data technology digital and and of course creative all right thank you so much thanks for speaking to us congratulations aki congratulations malvika thank you thank you it is time for us to take a short break on the other side of this break we